Guys, what's going on? Scott here. Um, it is Monday, 20 till 7 Central Time. Thought I would give you a quick update. Notice how clean everything is. I mean, for me. Um, we are at a unique point. Those are the last two wirings that need to be done on this puppy. So that's the left and right nasal, obviously. And they go right up there. But, um... We are at a good stopping point. I have gotten a tremendous amount of work done in the last few days because A, I'm unemployed, and I had some time to work on this puppy eight straight hours a couple days in a row. So that's why how I've been able to post so many photos and progress photos. But she is coming along great. There's been a lot of discussion with George and David, Paul, everybody about the Aztecs. What do you think about the Aztecs? Um... I'm a fan. I can say I'm a fan. Now, I'll show you a couple other models here in a second. I grew up hating decals. Never bothered even putting them on. But these, um, thanks to somebody, I think it was William. Was it William? I don't know. Who said, spray it with dull coat first. Why, they're still on the sheet, so I did. Then as George and I talked ad nauseum, um, you have about seven seconds in tepid water to pull them out. But they go on beautifully. I think I've torn one. And um, all of this, look at that. I mean, those are decals, guys. Heck yeah, I'm a big fan. You just got to take your time. And they are kind of forgiving. So the easiest thing is 7 to 10 seconds after you've dull coated them and let them dry um, in the water. Make sure you wet the area that you're going to put it down. And you just maneuver it until you're happy with it. Um, it's all decals. I was really dreading it, but, I mean, look at the effect. Look at that. The only painting I've done is this front fairing, um, under here, and where else? Oh, I painted that piece in there. But you just put them right over the lights, guys, and then just poke them. And then I use Microsol, and you want to make sure you get the air bubbles out. And then I use Future, as in Future Floor Polish. Big fan of that. A, it glosses everything. B, it solidly sucks it down. And uh, C, the best part, is no more dust bunnies. I mean, the models just blow off. So, we are here. No sense lighting it up for you, but... Um, yeah, so I'm a big fan, guys. I would highly suggest them if you don't want to go through the whole painting thing. This one is mine. Um, I'm not selling it. It wasn't a commission deal. So just for you guys who haven't opened that huge box yet or have and, and stepped back and left it sitting, here's a can of Coke. Here's kind of an approximation of the size of the model. What do you think, four feet? So it's at a good point. We're moving here pretty quickly. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go ahead and try to finish the engines or just leave her where she is. Um, but yeah, she's come a long way. And I'm having fun. That's the big thing. I made the mistakes on this one. Uh, there's a mistake like the crystal I put on after the, I closed it. Um, I'm trying to think of any other mistakes. Um, I really got that neck down tight. And then I used Boyd's technique on puttying. And boy, is that easy now. Just plop it in there, wipe it off. Um, I'm going to stick my airbrush right down in here and go after it with some black and make sure that that's all light blocked up. And then I'm going to be picking your guys' collective brain like you have no idea about these nacelles. So that's where we're at on this one. And uh, I hope to get moving on the rest of it here pretty quick. And then... Uh, We'll call this one done and chalk it up to experience, and I'm happy with it. Makes a great nightlight. And uh, then on to a commission build, and I've already made all the, the, the mistakes. So for me personally, it's the JJ Prize next. Then I am kind of hooked on this one. I want to see what I can do on just a straight refit, not the A. Um, and then I'm not really sure after that. But guys, thank you so much for everything you've taught me, all the friendships I've made. I'm going to try to pause this thing and show you a couple of other things. Hold on. Okay, here you are. 
So this was my first model about four years ago. When I say first model, first mo model in 25 years. Ravel went to 72. And I was blessed of having a father who was a commercial artist. And so I grew up in the 70s with a man who was a Rembrandt with an airbrush. And so I learned just by watching. So this model actually won best paint and first place. And I just had a ball going to town with all the various colors. And it was not a very highly detailed uh, kit. I did get the photo etch set for it. But just getting comfortable again after 25, 30 years away. So that was my first step, and that one was an award winner. I'm going to bring it around here, as so please bear with me. And then the next one that I built, that took a year off, played some games, goofed off, and then decided, you know, I am a Titanic buff. I uh, used to work for Titanic Incorporated. And so then it was time to do... 1 to 350 scale. Actually, it was better on the other side um, of the Titanic. And this is the subject I know. So I didn't even have to look in the instructions. But this one took it up another notch. Gosh, I was really better the other way, wasn't I? Sorry, guys. Um, so this one's got the photo etched railings, the photo etched windows, the photo etched people. Um, that was only because my grandson kept whining about, where are all the people? There he is, five. Um, there you go. So, that took it up a notch, the building. And then, you know, I took some time off. And then we jumped up to that monster. So, beginner, better. Enterprise, holy cow. Really stretched me as a model builder. Um, but I love it. And I really, out of all the... With the forms, you know, because the U-boats, Ravel has one. There are probably, I don't know, 700,000 Titanic ones. Um, but you guys, the 1 to 350 modelers, you guys are probably the best group of people I've ever met and helpful. So anyway, that's a wrap for tonight, for today. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.